Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin, your new guide to Linux on Windows. And when last we left off, I had just installed Ubuntu Bionic 18.04 on my Windows 10 system. So this is a Windows 10 system, and this is a tab in Microsoft's new unified terminal. Microsoft terminal and so I have other things I could bring up here like Ubuntu 16.04 under WSL 2 and WSL 1. WSL stands for the Windows subsystem for Linux and it's one of the big changes going on on the Windows platform and this video is to clear up why uh, or how you can get this to work. So on my older one, if I typed X eyes, you'll see that little Linux like. It's always difficult to click and drag this, it's not exactly uh, perfect. But the uh, w this is a Linux graphics subsystem that's working here, and it is really this uh, program here. The name is always tricky, it's SVXRC, so oh, no, it's VCX, VCX SRV, VCX SRV. It's an open source project based on the very permissive BSD license. And there's this other one out there, which is the one that comes up first in search. But after just a little bit of looking around, it does appear that it's better to be based on VCX SRV. So the way I got that running is. I installed it, you just Google on that, you find it, you install it, and then you're going to have this program buried deep on your PC called XLaunch, where it actually resides, is down here in Program Files in that folder, and it's XLaunch. And this is, if I were to quit out of this, you would see that those uh, eyes from over there disappear the server is no longer running. So there's also this here which will launch the actual server, but you don't want to do that. You want to make a config file. And there's a magic combination of things you want to set here. First of all, multiple windows that default is correct. This is not correct. You need to change the display number to zero. And uh, start with no client. The default is correct. That's fine. Oh wait, you actually want to disable access control so that this server will accept all connections uh, uh, from all clients. So the client that's going to be attempting to make the connection is WSL2, so check that. And then next, and then save configuration. Now for your temporary use, you can put that wherever you like. However, uh, you're going to want to eventually put it in this location which is your startup folder from the long, long ago. This sort of stuff still exists. And you'll want to Google <clears throat> perhaps about how to find your startup location. For me, it's you see users, username, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, program, startup. It's probably the same for you. But you put your uh, X server config file in there and it launches on startup. So as you may have noticed, I had quit out of it. It's no longer actually one of the running programs here in my uh, start bar. But if I double click this, it now is. You can see it there. Now one of the things that you will discover, especially on WSL2, this by the way is the same thing as that config file. I wanted to take a look at it. So these are the types of internal values. This uh, hyphen AC I had typed in, but it's essentially the same as uh, disable AC is true. Two different ways of saying it. That was some extra perhaps I gave it. Um, to make very sure, it can take instructions from external clients. So about those external clients, we've got two of them here. We have the one which is 18.04 that I just installed. And we have this one here that I have shown you, I can launch XIs with. And I can't do that on the other one for a couple of reasons. 
first of all, it's not installed. So I will take its advice and sudo apt get hard to break those old habits install uh, x11 apps so it puts a whole bunch of stuff on there but you know that's okay because this is the real important step in getting uh, a graphics subsystem on your freshly installed non-graphics subsystem uh, Microsoft Ubuntu Linux. So that did most of the stuff and you'll see that XIs, even though it is installed, it can't display. Let me show you that again. Can't display. That's because the um, magic line has not been inserted. Now this used to work on WSL 1 much more easily. This uh, I believe is all I had to do. But uh, in googling up the uh, this topic, uh, people who were having this can't use X server in WSL 2. This guy here, Sire Beard, whatever, he came up with the uh, the magic answer which is to just put this line in your bash RC. So we're going to do it before and after here. First of all, we are going to go to home. CD tilde slash ls. Not very much in there. ls hyphen uh, la. Even the hidden stuff. There is no bash login. So this is going to be our first bash login. We're going to do uh, two things to uh, satisfy that we're, that it's actually working. Uh, so first we're going to vim uh, bash underscore login. And we are going to, I guess it's uh, echo. Yeah, I believe it works this way. Echo, it's not Python. Hello. This is bash script we're doing here. So if I were to uh, bring up another terminal, hello, there it is. See? Okay. So having established that we are really um, having an effect, we're going to do our second thing, which is to insert what I just copied. Now, I don't have to really even. Um, have that hello anymore. I just know it works. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to quit. And now this is a before and after. X eyes can't display, right? Now I am going to create a new one. And there they are. Just uh, as a reminder, this first tab and this are exactly the same thing. I can get rid of that, and get rid of that. In fact, I'll close out of this entirely. Close all tabs, bring it up from my basic shortcut again, and now I have a Linux graphics subsystem. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.